All right guys, so just left the house. It's kind of early, 8.43 a.m. on a Saturday morning. I had an alarm at 6 a.m., but there's no way I would wake up. I feel so tired this morning. Yesterday I had a really good workout, and my body is just so sore right now. So I'm about to do work, but gotta get my coffee. Today is uh, March 23rd, 2024. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a grilled cheese. Can also get a tall coffee, medium roast with one bag of sugar. Can you remove the grilled cheese? My bad. Just the coffee for now. Good morning. It's a little bit too sixty-five for today. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Have a good one. The reason I canceled grilled cheese because I have this bad habit. It's not because I don't have money. <laughs> I have money for the grilled cheese. Back in 2020, I went through a really expensive dieting program. Kind of learned not to drink any fluid during eating. That's why in the morning, I usually when I wake up, I drink coffee, kind of wait like an hour or two and then have breakfast. So I can like fight myself in the back of my head. You know, I don't want to eat anything while I'm drinking coffee in the morning. So. That's the reason I canceled, so I made the right choice based on the program that I went through uh, back in 2020. To this day, I'm actually, when I, when I eat something, I don't drink any fluids for at least 45 minutes, which is really healthy. You have no heartburn, nothing. Back in the days, I spent $6,000 for that program, so it was worth it. I did learn a lot of things, what to eat and how to eat. The way you consume your food is also important, so me canceling grilled cheese, that's part of the good side of my program. Overall, driving for Uber is not that bad. On one hand, I have flexible schedule, I can work whenever I want. On the other hand, this job does require a different vehicle. And since I have a pickup truck, there is no other way to make more money with that kind of car while driving as an Uber driver. Actually, there's one more option, which I'm able to switch on and off in Uber app, and it's Uber Eats or Uber Grocery Shopping. I got a Uber Eats order, which is kind of like a grocery shopping, small items only. Pretty much, I just gotta look for the item and scan it and pay with my Uber Pro card. Apple Pay, but for Uber. Just find the item. Scan. So I just gave you a quick rundown. Pretty simple, only a couple of items. Really cool feature that Uber actually pays for it. So you just, you don't have to use your own money if you want to, you can. At the end, I just have to scan it. Sometimes this Uber app is like, keeps asking me the same thing over and over. Come on, man. All right, so you just take a picture like this at the end and submit. The drop-off location is only uh, two minutes away from Target where I was, so it's really short, right? Took me less than 10 minutes. Probably gonna make around six bucks. You just asking me for the pin? Yeah, 1409. 1409, and this is how you complete your food, whatever, eats. Grocery. I mean, it's kind of boring in and out, like the orders come in. So I made six dollars and two cents in less than 15 minutes. Well, about in around 15 minutes. And that's just how you make money with Uber Eats. Well, I don't know if I call this money because making six dollars in 15 minutes, which is not bad. I guess if you summarize that 30 minutes, you make 12 dollars. In one hour, you make about 24 dollars minus gas. So you told me if it's worth it. I'm gonna try different jobs. Uh, maybe through the apps, maybe not. Just like different things. And then I'm also preparing content, different content. Definitely content that I never found before. We'll see how that goes. I have to admit that driving in Los Angeles area is not ideal at all due to heavy traffic, but sometimes I do get rides which take me to some beautiful areas and it's like a refreshment from LA itself. Like this ride, for instance. I took these girls all the way to Malibu. It took me an hour and a half to deliver these girls into some private area in Malibu. Gated area. I gotta take a piss. I only made $31.06 an hour and a half. That is crazy. Driving this truck for 30 bucks, that's just an example how much you can make an Uber driving a truck. And there's a reason why people drive Priuses for this type of job. Also, I noticed if uh, you have a trip and your uh, passenger is adding like an extra stop, it adds like a couple bucks because essentially my trip was like 25 bucks and then the girls ended up um, adding like three different stops. But also, like, even if they didn't add the stops, like making $25 an hour and a half driving all the way to Malibu and I don't even know if I'm gonna get a ride from here. That is crazy like how far I am. I remember myself back in the days when I was like younger and stuff, I guess. I can say it now because I'm already 30 years old. Back in the days was a lot easier working in terms of like I could have tolerated hours and hours without stopping drinking one energy drink, the second one. Nowadays it's like you're getting tired, you don't want to do this, you know, like your back start hurting, everything start hurting. Even though I work out every day. I do get some interesting people in and there, like this guy, for example, he ran out of gas and had to call Uber in order to get 
to the nearest gas station. Hey, hi. What's up, man? What's up? Uh, this is a gas station. We just run out of gas. Luckily enough, I always have gas can on me and some other stuff, which most people keep in their garage. Because I have a container with me. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, it's, only, it's only for, uh, I think, one gallon, though. Okay, yeah, that's just a quick tip for you, if you run out of gas, find the nearest gas station within walking distance and literally just get a gallon of gas. You can even use empty plastic bottle or buy a fuel can. Your car just stopped? Yeah, yeah. My, my kid and my wife. After helping this guy out, he tipped me $10 in addition to the actual ride of $8, so I made $18 in 15 minutes. It's pretty good, you know. Here's another interesting ride, this guy in a wheelchair that I'm about to pick up. We're gonna have to load up the wheelchair, right? Okay. Typically with Uber, if you have a wheelchair, you're supposed to request Uber WAV, wheelchair transportation, and since I'm only signed up as an Uber X driver, I'm not supposed to pick up disabled passengers, because what if I drive Prius and there's no way to fit wheelchair in Prius, but here I just go based off my personal life issues where I recently got out of wheelchair myself, so I don't even care about Uber's policy in this case, and simply want to help them out, plus save them some money. Damn, this guy reminds me of myself trying trying to get in the same truck just a few months ago. I even have a video on my main channel. Uh, what happened to my mask? I'm happy you're alive, man. It's a long process, but it's a great memory to know that you can fight through. I was in a car accident, but I was a passenger in a car and we fell off the cliff. Similar accident. Well, you're gonna win too, man. Like, you're already making progress. Trust me, when I was in a wheelchair, I thought I'm, I'll never get up. I'm still, like, experiencing a lot of pain, but, like, yeah, we're all, I'm working out every day. I have to tell you that this was the most challenging ride I've ever had. I don't think I can describe how I felt listening his story and telling him mine. And the fact that he called me a winner, I truly believe he'll be able to walk again. I'm proud to live in America, where a medical system does pure magic to those who suffered spine injuries. I'm proud of you. You're making a lot of progress. Yeah. You'll be like this too. Maybe a little bit longer than I did, but you'll be fine. Trust me. It's all about hope, trust, and believe in yourself. He told me at the end that uh, I inspire him. Interesting uh, how some people go through similar things that I went through, and uh, I'm glad to be able to inspire someone just like by saying certain things. You know, it's uh, crazy how life works. Some of you wondering if I get recognized by people who watch my main channel, and the answer is yes, I do. It's just part of posting videos on the internet for several years. You're not recording for your videos, are you? Hmm? I said you're not recording for your videos, are you? For my videos? I, re <coughs> I recognize you, brother. Oh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> I'll put you in. <laughs> no, no, I'm good, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so I just drove by and I saw this cat waiting for his destiny, I guess. It's pretty normal for LA to walk around homeless tents. I know it's not normal in such states like Montana or North Dakota, but here in LA, we're the second largest city with homeless population after New York City. This guy's even built a whole house, look at that. With a door, too. I don't know. Hey, I got a question. You guys live here? Yeah. You guys build it yourself? Yeah. I'm always curious if I go homeless. Would you accept me? No clue what he just said. Let's watch it again. So I can't live here with you? No. So long story short, they build these small houses everywhere around the city by using plywood or whatever they can find. Like he even found a door, must be from some construction building. And they continue living in these encampments until the city removes them. But that doesn't change much because they just go to a different location. But hey, I'm totally forgot I'm here for a different mission. Don't run away. Stay, 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 stay. Stay over there, stay over there, stay over there. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. This cat is giving me a sign that it's time to wrap up this video because it's already been 9 minutes. If you guys want to see more lifestyle videos like this, let me know because I really enjoy filming this type of videos. And don't forget to subscribe, every one of you matters to me. Don't forget to like this video, it does help the YouTube algorithm. And let's grow this channel together so I can begin traveling around the world and film content that I planned to film last year. This is a piece of shit hole right here, see? You're right. <laughs> Ooh. We just realized we left Dolly at that guy's place. And it's a really expensive Dolly. The piece of shit is gonna break in any minute.